Well, good morning. Enjoying my coffee again. Boy, the weather sure is nice. Here it is mid-December almost. And the highs are in the 60s and the lows are in the 50s. So far it's been a great December. Well, the only problem is the weeds are actually starting to grow back in my yard. Can you believe that? Okay, I got my poly mixed. I like to fold the raw edges of my rag in just to keep it from rattling. And make a little pad about like that. Dip it in the poly and then big long strokes right the whole way. So I'm going to wipe it down now with a tack cloth first and then I'll be ready to go. Tack cloth is kind of a, it feels kind of gummy but it leaves no residue and it picks up all the dust. So we want to get that done. And when you come to the ends, make sure you're wiping this way and not this way. Otherwise, if you wipe this way, you'll leave a run on that edge. What do you want? Feather it off like that. Pad nice long strokes, kind of coming into them like a airplane landing, like that. That's all he's doing. Now the first coat, it's real thin. It'd be kind of streaky looking and everything, but that's fine. When it dries, it'll be all. It won't be thin ugly like that. And it kind of makes a seal coat. And the next coat will look better, and the next coat will look better than that. Okay. Well, I'm going to let it dry overnight. Do a little sanding on it, and then tomorrow, put another coat on. Oh, I got three coats of semi-gloss polyurethane on there, wipe on, and I'm probably going to put a couple more, and it's not quite as shiny as the cabinet, so I'll probably, after I get a couple more coats of semi-gloss, I'll probably put a coat of gloss on there. But uh, I think it's looking real good. The patch is not perfect, but it's pretty good. The only thing I can tell you about that is if I'd have had some dyes, I could have probably made it a lot better. But uh, dyes are kind of expensive, and I don't have any need for them. And little bottles cost like 20 bucks. And, I'm not sure which color I need. I might need three or four different colors. So it's going to be just as good as it's going to get, and that's going to be it. So, well, I'm going to get, uh, get to going here and get another coat of poly. I'm going to sand it down. I'm sanding it between coats with 320, just very lightly, just touching it. You don't have to, you know, really <laughs> sand, sand, sand. Just lightly touch it. Uh, knock the little nits off of it and uh, kind of dull it up so that the next coat will adhere. That's what you're trying to do. So I'm going to get to doing that. Enjoy my coffee and have a good morning. Well, good afternoon. Coming down to my last coat. I've got six coats semi-gloss polyurethane on here and the boss says that she now wants it to be more glossy so I'm putting a coat of glossy on it now now normally what you do is you put several coats of glossy and then you put a coat of semi-gloss over the top of it to give it depth but you know hey you got to do what you got to do right so 
So again, I'm just going to be uh, wipe on, and uh, I think it's starting to look really good. So I'm going to get to wiping here. It's all about technique. You don't want to ever start and come this way on the ends, otherwise you'll get runs. I think maybe I told you that before. And with this coat, I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Because if I miss something, it'll really show. Now, I did not dilute this. Before I'm done, I'll probably wish I had it. I'm using it straight out of the can. Normally, I dilute it about 60-40 or 50-50. And I, it was really smooth, and I only sanded it with uh, eight hundred grit this time. Now well, I think I've got it covered right around the edge. Well, we'll let that dry, see what it looks like, and hopefully, this will be all I need to do. Well, it's Sunday afternoon. <clears throat> Went to church this morning, got home, had one of those comfort food lunches. Roast beef, potatoes, carrots, gravy, nice lettuce salad, romaine. So, I'm feeling good. Well, I put a coat of gloss on here and it looks really, really nice. Now what I'm going to do is what we call steel wool wax. I'll take steel wool and my feeding wax and I'll go over it very lightly. And why we do that, you, you, you sand between coats of polyurethane for two reasons. Number one, uh, you sand to dull the finish to get adhesion for the next coat. And when you get the final coat on there, you sand or use steel wool and some wax to get rid of what they call nits. You can't see nits, but when you run your hand over like I'm doing right now, you can feel them. It looks smooth as glass, but you can feel the nits. So, and when I do this, it's going to be very, very lightly. I'm not trying to scuff the surface for the next coat. All I'm trying to do is remove the nits. So, just the weight of your hand is usually enough to get rid of the nits. So, I'm going to do that, then I'm going to put it together, and the next thing you'll see is the final reveal. Yes, I did make everything in that room, except for the lane cedar chest and the walnut dresser on the outside wall. 
I made the bedroom outfit about mm, 10 years ago or so. I still had the camera on slow motion and it doesn't record sound on slow motion. What I'm saying here is give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. You know, YouTube gives you better positioning if you have a thumbs up. And subscribe. And thanks for watching. This will probably be the last video I do until after Christmas. So you all have a Merry Christmas and don't forget to take a lot of pictures of your family and your friends during the Christmas season. Create those memories. Okay, once again, thanks for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. See you in the new year. Bye now. Bring